G'day and welcome to the Tech Math channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is a very quick description of the difference between rational and irrational numbers. So rational numbers, these are numbers which can be expressed as fractions in the form of, say, the algebraic expression a over b. Um, where both of these are integers, b is not allowed to be equal to zero, okay, because that, that wouldn't lead to very happy times. Dividing any number by zero doesn't lead to very happy times. So an example of this might be, say, something like uh, you could have a number like two-thirds, or you could have a number, say, like a quarter, or you could even have, say, a number like three, which could be expressed instead as three over one. So it's also for going into this here. Now, pretty much the one of the, the things that, okay, that's the definition of it, but probably the, the feature which is really, really defining for these also is the decimals that come out here. So obviously 3 doesn't have any decimals, okay it has 0 .000, but for all intents and purposes it doesn't have, um, it doesn't have zeros. But rational numbers also either have, say, terminating decimals, okay, so say something like here where it, it terminates and it's 0 0.25 and it stops here, or it could actually have recurring decimals like this one here where it's 0 0.6666666 and it recurs itself okay or even say something if it was like a, a number which was 0 0.242424 where it recurs and recurs so it has these repeating sequences and rational numbers have this irrational numbers on the other hand don't have this um, so irrational numbers now so irrational numbers basically end up you don't have you have these an infinite number of non-recurring decimals when you get these now these are easily seen with say something like this number here, the square root of 2. Okay, um, so if you were to work this out on a calculator you'd see this, you'd get this number of say 0 point, uh, actually you wouldn't get 0 point, you'd actually, <laughs> you'd get this, you'd get 1.414 uh, 2136. No I don't know that off the top of my head, I'm looking down at something at the moment as I do this because it's it's quite a it's quite a difficult one to get, but you're going to notice there's no repeats here. And in fact, this could keep being worked out, and it would not actually ever repeat itself. So this is known as an irrational number. Okay, um, so quite often it's actually left. This will be their answer, um, which is the exact form, which is called a surd here. Okay, and this is we're going to be looking at surds in future videos. Okay, so the exact form of these of an irrational number is called a third here. So, just one last thing, a couple of other irrational numbers you're probably fairly um, aware of. Pi is an irrational number. No matter how much you work it out, 3.1415, la 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 la, you end up with these non-repeating decimal um, expressions. Okay, E is also one as well. Okay. So hopefully that explained rational numbers versus irrational numbers. Um, so that's the major definition and the difference between them. It's also the reason that we do get into thirds. So we can actually get these exact expressions because irrational numbers don't have an exact expression. So we can always leave um, this one here as an exact expression. We can call it 0.666 and we can say that there and, and people know that it, what exactly it will be forever on afterwards. Um, whereas this one here, you could keep writing this and it would, you would never actually fully be able to define it. So, in fact, we often leave the exact value as a third. Okay, hopefully that uh, explained a few things and we'll see you next time. Okay, bye.